I sat and watched as terms were made, as peace was signed. I was given my time to say my peace, to ask the Queen's kindness, and request the aid in the construction of Harrenhal. It lasted many hours, with Lady Manissa sitting opposite the Queen of Dragons, chains upon her wrist and a darkness in her eyes. The love I once saw in them had long been slain. Now I only saw hate for me, for the Queen. In the end, I was granted a mighty sum for my aid, though nowhere near what the Lord Paramounts received. 3,000 dragons, all in my name. I was also granted, by the grace of the Queen, the care for the future of the Riverlands, in a way. The two Kahiris boys, the heirs to Riverrun from the first marriage, were placed into my care as wards. As Lord Tully cared greatly for me, and so did Manissa, though I did not mention that part. I did not raise my voice to reveal that one of those two boys was mine in blood. Part of me wanted to, but I, I dare not. As things calmed and fealty was sworn, I made a final request. A Valyrian wife for my son to keep Harrenhal in the hands of true blood. Lord Valerian presented a maiden in his employ, born of High Valerian blood. Her family had lived in Dragonstone alongside mine for many a year under the Targaryens. She seemed an ample fit. The agreement was made with the Queen's blessing, and our future is secured. I returned home with golden stories, though my once mighty army was now nothing more than a personal guard. I did not stay for the negotiations with the Iron Isles, though I hear the head of Lord Greyjoy sits on a pike outside King's Landing. Ironic. He traded one pike for another. Lord Damon grows more and more each year, and now has a lady to sit beside him in court. Yet I hear talks from his tutors that he speaks of great ambition. Not prideful ambition for himself, no. Anger that others achieve this ambition. His envy is growing far too strong for my liking. Perhaps I shall speak to him. I still receive letters from my dear daughter Rhaenys, now living in Castle Rock. Her husband has agreed to an alliance, an alliance I shall mightily need should anything come our way. She seems in good spirits and good health. I see nothing likely to change that fact. She always was a bright and caring young girl. And Sarah. My wife does not speak to her nor talk of her, but she is my blood. I can tell it more and more each day how she shares my likeness. A bastard, sure, but veilless blood. She is quiet at times, but she looks at the world with her inquisitive look. She may never be a lady, but she has the potential to be a good person. What more could there be for someone? Harrenhal is always busy, for construction continues each and every day. Yet for me it almost feels... quiet. Serene. As if nothing could go wrong. Hello guys, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, a game of thrones where we are playing still as harrenhal as lord aaron the black an incredible ruler through incredible times but he is now getting a bit older in his age and his son does not look to be that incredible we'll just say that so let's hope we can keep him going a bit while longer because i have a feeling we're going to be losing a lot of these titles uh when our son takes control so what actually happened? Well, we have got an interesting situation here where Lady Manissa has managed to keep her title by swearing fealty once more to the Queen. However, in terms of the agreement, she has to give up her heir and her spare to me, who will be training them as my wards until they are of age. Of course, the Queen did not know that Lyman is my son when she did that. <laughs> Uh, but Medgar is not my son, but Medgar is, uh, will still be trained by me. In fact, what will we train him on? 
Uh, we'll train him on duty, since I'm quite good at that. And his brother, Lyman, we... Lyman is slow, by the way. Lyman is not the greatest boy, so we'll train him on struggle. Uh, so on top of that, we are also sort of looking at uh, another reward we were given. Melisent here is a Westerosi Valyrian woman of good blood, of a good lineage. Uh, she was in the Valerian court, uh, and as I was re-requested a good heir, the queen has chosen her to marry our son, Lord Damon. Very good blood there. Very good blood. We are quite weak right now. Uh, we are down to only our sort of basic armies, uh, so we need to recoup those uh, over the time coming because we <laughs> desperately need our armies back ASAP. Uh, so we're hoping we'll get our armies back in all of these. And the Iron Isles shall remain under the crown for a while, although I'm sure they won't be happy about that. Of course, Manissa now hates us, but we have two of our children hostage, so... <laughs> I mean, educated, quote-unquote. Uh, let us begin, then. Indeed. Uh, Harrenhal, we are going to build some stuff up, because we have gold, and gold is best spent getting more gold. So let's get our castle town upgraded. I think we'll just build a castle town in all of these. I believe uh, Battlewall actually starts with a castle town. It does, but we... Or level 2, actually. We don't need to upgrade it, so we'll just upgrade the stables instead. Hopefully we can keep this gold for a little while. Slowly upgrading stuff. But yeah, as you can see, my son, stat-wise, is definitely not going to be like me. His, his stewardship is nowhere near good enough to keep these titles. So when he's in command, we're going to be losing probably these two and have to give them away. Point her cap on council, yeah. Uh, I think we will try and perhaps sway her a bit. Uh, the guards drag Alex Hoffman up from his cell and throw him at my feet. I've come for justice. By right of birth and blood, I demand trial by combat. I could handle it myself. Um, who are you? What are you in prison for? Probably just from the war. I probably could should have just released you. He lost anyway. I guess the gods decided he was... Uh, he hadn't done a crime. Probably because he was in prison and I don't know why he was there. <laughs> yes, hopefully soon Damon will be coming of age and we'll get to see a little more of what Manny is. Though I imagine, based off his stats, he's only going to be getting a level 1 trait. Whereas his wife is actually a very good uh, Grey Eminence. Uh, though her Diplo and Intrigue are only medium, like, decent. She's a decent uh, courtier, which is why she was chosen for the uh, the marriage. How goes things with the queen? Oh, let's see. I have fallen for the temptation of slothfulness. There are things I have neglected in my castle. Things that should have been done, but I have postponed them. So I can lose the trait diligence, or I can lose some piety and possibly gain stress. Okay, we did not get stress, but we did lose the piety. Okay, I had to deal with a quick problem, which has been handled. Uh, and one thing I noticed that I was stupid and didn't notice, and thankfully we still have some coin left to spend, is I forgot to upgrade the ruins. Oops. Yeah, you need to upgrade these ruins to uh, actually have them stop being ruins. Otherwise, we're going to have this curse forever. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> so at least we can handle that. Reach at war of itself. Of course it is. It's always at war of itself. What sort of numbers are we looking at? So it's Lady Marissa of the Reach. Who is a child of uh, Peter of the Reach. Who was the uh, the first Lord Viral. So it seems like it's, yeah, it's essentially it's his uh, second daughter against his uh, youngest son. After the, the first son died at age 26. <laughs> Don't bother me with turnies. I'm not the man for them. Let's get our private farms up. 
I think it's going in the reach, big man. How you doing? He is, um... He's doing good. Seems like my wife, uh, my daughter is doing well for him as a wife. It's no big secret that Sir Simon is after my job as a Castilian. Do I like him? I don't like him that much. I'll help him but keep an eye on him. I think that's the wisest thing to do. So, I should have had your child by now. How did you do? Oh, you had... Okay. <laughs> that is sadly... I think that's quite cursed, honestly. So by the looks of it, they had... Is it twins? Yeah, twins. And one died stillborn. Well, I mean, you have an heir. But knowing your luck, she's probably going to die in like a year and a half. That's me, 115 k Just, wow. Might as well just conquer all of this with your dragons now, don't you? I've inherited the castle of... Ta the castle of Tower of Dread from the... Okay, yep, yep, yep. Don't worry. I know what that means. Right, let's give that away to a new vessel, because... I cannot hold on to it. It's time for me. Yeah, I will visit the far off distant land of my own vessel of Trinder and let's get the prosperity up. Uh, let's also get private farms in these two. I, I probably. My son won't uh, rule them at least. Because as, as I keep mentioning, he kind of sucks. Um, but, you know, I. When they're my vassals lands, if I keep the vassals loyal, it will be fine. Share our stewardship. Eminence has answered my letter, admitting she has much to learn from me. Marvellous. You absolutely do have a fuck ton to learn from me, so... Looks like the war in the reach is uh, yeah, interesting. What's the war score like? Yeah, Lord Edwin's dominated. I imagine he's going to have a much larger army. What's all this then? Revoke title. You wish to revoke my title in Lolliston? No. Yeah, let's call in the bloody Westerlands. Come on, man. Join in. Yeah, of course you'll obligate because you're a badass. All right, let's get armies up. Uh, meet here. I don't, are there any mercs? Yeah, let's hire some mercs. I uh, don't want to hire too many, though. Let's just hire this amount. Basically, I just want to keep this army alive until we can get the Westerlands over here. And then this... How dare you, by the way? Just becoming a tyrant in order to try and weaken me. As if I don't have this bad boy, this lion on my side, thanks to my uh, my marriage. Thank it looks like that marriage has actually come in useful for us. Then this is what happened. Right? This is a a for a lover turned enemy that is trying to take things too far, but we simply will not have it. Right, let's get out of here before that 10k arrives near us, and let's go meet up with the Westerlands army. Yeah, they're going to try and take Harren Hall. But we're not going to let that happen. In fact, we'll, we'll stay in Lolliston because uh, that's the war goal. Nope. No, oh, they bloody caught me. Ah, I shouldn't have. I stopped for one second and the game catches me. Bloody hell. Right. Westland's army should still be more than enough. But that, once again, brutally just destroys my army over and over again. And they're going to get the war. What? What? They instantly siege the war goal. Was there no garrison in there? It was like, okay, garrison of 700. Wow. Bloody hell. Ugh. You annoy me so much, you wench. Let's kill this bitch. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm sick and tired of her. You, you forget what I can do with your sons. They are my courtiers. I can easily just kill them. I can imprison them right away. No problem. And she's going to catch me again because you're not near me, Lannister. You blood... I hate this game. This game. Ah, God damn it. 
I, my armies just get shattered because the game, the AI just has no clue what it's doing. And now he's lost. And now the war's over. Come on! You got 15k that you're not bringing into the battle. What are you doing? To your larger army. <sighs> Come on, join up. Will you take Lolliston? Because Harren was so well defended, uh, Castle Wise, that we didn't have to worry about that for a little bit. Oh, well, apparently you have a garrison, though, because it's taken me ages to siege there. Why has it taken me 12 days, but you instantly siege it? Do you have a dragon or something? Do you have a dragon rider in your army? Because you instantly sieged it. What a twist that would be if the Tullys are actually dragon riders all bloody along. Damon Valerian. Oh, wait. It's a fucking Valerian, isn't it? Forgot she married the Valerian. So Damon Valerian's dragons is what's causing the problems here. This new defense will be impregnable. Good. So honor the bravery of your troops. No, yeah. That, ne that event never works. If we get Lollison back, we have a chance here. But the dragons are... Fuck me, you know. Like, come on. I should have married into the Valerians. That would have been a smart idea for me. Get the bloody dragons on my side. But can I... Do I have any better commanders than these absolute morons? Like, these guys suck. Nope, they're my, they're my commanders. Let's see how we do. Do we have a chance here? Okay, it looks like we have the victory in Harrenhal. At least. And we've captured Chambers of Turnbridge. I'll be merciful. You can have a house arrest. Right, do we want to try and siege River Run? It's probably the smartest, smartest thing to do here. But again, I have a, her heirs. Like, am I not able to just kill her heir? Honestly, maybe I should just capture one heir and kill the other. Like, you know? Like, the, the second in line is my blood. I can see if I could claim him, even though it would obviously be scandalous. But she's earned it. She's earned my ire. Let's stop swaying her, because I don't want to sway her. I hate her now. I'd rather have her dead. Just plot to kill. Do you have anybody who's uh wanting to aid with that? Rainis is all on board. Come join. Absolutely. Let's uh, auto-invite plotters. Oh, and it means we have 276% power. She is hated, and that is very clear. We need to stop them sealing, sieging Lolliston. That's a priority here. And we, we might as well just kill her armies instead. Because again, yeah, they, they instantly siege because of the fucking dragons. Oh my god. Just get all that war score back through dragons. Come on. I'm not having that. Where are the Targaryens going? Is it another peasant revolt? Probably. So this time it's always played by the Stark, so. And good. We killed her. Absolutely wonderful. I've never been more proud of my men. And now I have absolutely no army at all. I will happily sit on your council. Exiled your kin and traitor. Yeah, look. Do you know why I was a traitor? Because your mother was a bitch. Come on, Lyman. You should like me. Come on. Let's... We'll try and sway... Um... Mager. Oh, he's not an adult, so we can't... I'm not giving anyone council support. Well, it's, we now have a uh, Kahiris leading um, the Trident. I mean, it had to happen because Manissa went from a lover to trying to take my land. And I'm simply not having that. Luston is mine. Let's, um... I don't want to really increase it. Let's get to... It's probably on me for not having basic defenses there. That's just very stupid. 
I did a lot of complaining in that war, which, realising now, is almost entirely my my fault for being a moron and not actually protecting the region as well. I'm sure there's going to be comments going, hey, Pluto, you're a fucking moron. Um, it's literally your fault. Everything's gone wrong. You have no one to blame but yourself. And now my response would be, yeah, you're actually bloody right, because I'm an absolute bloody moron. Old King Harren had thousands of slaves chained and working under whip. Slavery's outlawed in Restaurants, but a prisoner could be put to work. That's not slavery, technically, right? It'll hasten the restoration, but it'll cost piety, and people will hate me. Including Lord Partek of... Where? Oh, he's my vassal. He's the Lordship of Turnbridge. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, I know, Turnbridge is, is elsewhere. That's me being silly. I, your misrule must come to an end immediately. Me and my allies insist. My son wants me to abdicate for him. And him and his allies, quote unquote. Which is just him. Even though, yeah, let's call a defensive allies of the war, aka the Westerlands, and see how that goes for you. And let's hire some mercenaries again. Let's go. We're just super weak. We just constantly have no army. So fun. Losing all of our money just for having to keep mercs, uh, higher mercs to protect ourselves. And now he's had to hire mercs as well, so we're, we're just losing money. Why, why, why do you think that this was going to work? Are you like a tyrant or something? Or, or what trait makes you think that this would work for you? And I guess envious must be what what's uh, the trait that's caused that. You're not gonna escape. I'm gonna catch you in Lolliston. I don't know what your plan was, son, but you were a moron, and you're gonna spend some time in a jail cell for this. Oh, now you've kicked me off the council. Yeah, not having an army is just so... The the Losing my army in the original war has just led to all of these wars since, realistically. Though I think having dragons is probably what uh, convinced her to push for it. He proclaims that Lord Paramount is to wed Marianne Dennings. Uh, Deddings. That is a... House Deddings is a uh, Riverlands house, if I'm correct. So. Yes, they are. I'm going to have to siege down my own lands now. <sighs> he killed his wife trying to hatch a dragon egg. Well, I guess he's got dragon rider blood in him, doesn't he? Because of um, being a bastard of, um, of Valyrian. But I don't know if that was the smartest idea. Once again, he's trying to, they constantly are trying to siege down Lolliston. Because I guess the defences aren't fully built yet. Go stop him, Sir Peros, please. I would love it if you could just kill them in Lolliston. No! What, what are you doing? Why are you coming to help me? The, the entire army is right there, Lannisters. You useless idiot. I don't need your help on this siege, buddy. I really don't. What I do need, actually, is better commanders. Do I have any... Better options for commanders. You seem quite good. Oh, good. In fact, the, one of my commanders has already got a bit better. No, that's not the commander. That's the maester. <laughs> Silly me. It's, I've my I've had a light head for like two days now, and it's my decision making is gone. Whoop. My son's been captured. False peace. You are an idiot. I need my armies back. And I need them back quick. But I have to keep him on, um, uh... Oh, crap, he wasn't on train troops. 
Why has he been taken to Castle Lee Rock as prisoner? Now I have to... Okay, no, has he been... Okay, he's been take... given back to me. And my wife has died. And I've had a stillborn granddaughter through the, um, Manisters. Just, just our family will be invited. Ugh. Right. What to do with you? I don't want to banish him because he's literally my heir. Put him in house arrest. And... What prison is she in? Why would... Could you not take my children hostage, please, Lancel? Or my children and his wife hostage? I, okay, releasing all improve his opinion by 50, so he will like me again. Please release her from prison. Because I need my son to have a child. Thank you. There we go. Okay. Right, you two get busy, please. Don't let this happen again. You have 36 troops, so hopefully it won't happen for a while. Okay, and I'm back on the council. Hopefully things are going to go back to normal now. Fingers crossed on that, because I... <sighs> I don't know, having a stillborn grandchild. She She's escaped Harrenhal, but I don't know if Harrenhal's escaped her, if you know what I mean. Very unfortunate. What is spread about the, my success in rebuilding Harrenhal? Uh, one of the workers is informing me that... Yeah, so it's the blood thing again. Do I want to slit this guy's throat? Sure. Could do with some blood. So now there is a uh, uh, some house chambers of blood sitting in our walls. There we go. First one has been upgraded. A small ruin keep in the Tower of Dread. There we go. The ruins have been cleared. Wonderful. Uh, build up basic defenses there. Ah, okay, so it's... the ta This tower is still in ruins, the building was destroyed. Great. So it's now castle ruins instead. Is that better? Hmm. Oh, oh so... The Riverman Keep failed, is what I'm saying. Right, so I have to build this Riverman Keep again. So yeah, they have castle ruins, which cost them tax income, but they are also a keep. Now I understand what you're saying, game. Now I get you. Yeah, we'll build basic defenses in all of these. Oh, so if I build anything, it collapses. What? Yeah, okay. I Maybe I'm an idiot, so I don't understand how things work. That appears to be the case, and I've screwed stuff up. How much would it cost to upgrade the holdings? It would cost 200 again. All right, we'll do it again. In the casino. Unless I'm being an idiot and like the ruins are going to be there forever and I'm just doing this in completely the wrong way and I've wasted all this money. Which I'm realising is likely the case and I misunderstand the castle ruins mechanic. So it seems like what's happening is it's building a small riverman keep and then the small riverman keeps being destroyed because it can't have a small riverman's keep and I'm an idiot. If that's the case, I've wasted 800 gold. And you and everyone in the comments will be telling me I've wasted 800 golds. But I have to learn this stuff myself. Even though these mechanics should probably be more obvious. Oh dear. The alliance has been dissolved. Is it because you died? No, it's because... My daughter died. Of depression. I assume because her child was stillborn. Okay, so the Tower of Dreads. Has a small. If I can break it so that it has basic defense, a small keep while still being ruins, I'll consider that an absolute win. Man, my daughter has died. <sighs> I 
Valyrian is now being ridden by the Triarch of Little Valyria. Well, maybe Little Valyria is going to get a bit bigger if he's riding Valyrian. Goodness me. Let's keep our eye on, uh, on this fellow. I, I feel very worried about my son now. What I might do is I might legitimize you. Or ask if you can be legitimized. Thank you, Your Grace. Yeah, because I... Just in case. She's now um, our second in line. Still learning humility, though. Of course, my wife's going to hate me for this. Sorry, my second wife is going to hate me for this. Oh, wait, she died as well, didn't she? I had a funeral, and I forgot about that. I suppose I should be remarried then. Right? Who Who do we even have out there? I want someone who's an okay steward, or just an okay one stat, really. Could do for an okay diplomat, maybe. Hmm. Asha seems good. But she's... They're all lowborn is going to be the problem at this age. But we'll have to take it. Ah. Well. <laughs> we're going to have to keep an eye on this guy. No, we aren't, because Valyrian's dead. Uh, no, we, we don't need any more gold. Well, there we go. I think, in a way, I slightly broke the system and got these to have a small river from keep and basic defenses while still being ruins. So, in a way, I think I'm a genius, and I think that worked. And this idiot lost his dragon egg and killed it, and, uh, killed his brother. Oh, no, Oris died in the original attempt. What is it? The Baratheons just suck at dragon eggs, apparently. Yeah, get a bit of tyranny, but whatever. Most of my vassals don't have any troops because they are in charge of ruins. But these two are now able to have a bit of defences. Obviously, I will not build anything else because I now realise how the castle ruin mechanics work. That nothing else can be built. But, hey. This worked and I'll take it. Um, But we will... Because I believe the, ru the actual ruins are replaced for the events then. So I need to wait a long time on that. Medgar is now of age and he looks like that, apparently. <laughs> what an interesting look for you. Huh. Fate smiles upon me. My wife is pregnant. Right. We'll give you a martial focus now. Uh, still slow and the kid has cancer. Well, he has been raised in Harrenhal, so... <laughs> God... Poor kid. So you're telling me that you are pregnant. And I'm 59 years old. Either I'm an incredible uh, a stallion of a man. Or there's something more going on here. I'm not sure which one I think it is. <laughs> uh, let's train up troops again, please. We really, really need it. Harrenhal just needs its full lump. Because Harrenhal at its max is 4,000 just by itself. So we just need to sit and not have war for a while, honestly. That's what we need. Slowly recouping, but very, very slowly. Do you like me again? No, you immediately hate me again. Because I legitimized... I I legitimized a sister, not a... You're still the main son, my boy. Uh, let's reduce the build time. Family first. There we go. He likes me a bit more then. Still not enough though. Let's sway him a bit. Uh, let's buy buy her something nice, even though I'm not convinced the baby's mine. <laughs> Off to help the liege with their titles. That's so funny that you can basically just be like, "Hey, I can help you with your titles. Uh, give them to me." Can people keep trying to steal my job. Unbelievable. I keep my eye on them. It's the best way to do it. It's just keep an eye on them. Lots of factions being founded. Uh, let's see. We have Princess Cecilia for the Trident. Who is a friend of mine. Oh, she's a sister of... Um, 
Lady Messina. But she's also a Cahiris because she married, but she married to Brynden Tully. So yes, yeah, so, so she is a Tully. Well, I won't. I'll give her, name her after her mother, but she never lived. Perhaps the old man might stop leaving curses now. Died stillborn. Unfortunate indeed. But I mean, hey, the queen had a stillborn child too. It just happens sometimes. How is Jahira? Well, she's quick. Oh, so not quick. Attractive. She got that from her mother. But she's also a lunatic. Uh, Targaryen madness, eh? And then there's still uh, Lynn Waters. Why not just legitimize her? They'll fix everything, clearly. Queen Rhaenys of the Dragoness has inherited sick King's Landing. Okay. The same dude. He's after my job again. Sure, I'll keep helping you, buddy. I don't think you're going to get my job, honestly. Because you're crap. Or maybe, is it diplomacy it's after, it uses? Yeah, then maybe you will take it from me. I don't know. I don't know which which, which role do I have on my Lieges Council. Uh, I am... Am I the Castilian? Yeah, then I'm fine. Lord Aaron owns Lord Lionel a favour at the Council. God, that's a huge one. The general opinion loss is really bad. I guess I will... I'll owe him a favour. Lord Lionel doesn't seem that bad, honestly. Um, he's, I mean, he's a decently powerful lord, and he's quite old. And he's a fucking lunatic. Sounds like a great guy. He keeps asking! Lord Cobble keeps going to me saying, Hey man, listen, I want to steal your job, please help me. <laughs> over and over again. He just isn't very good at it. Yeah, this ambition to have a dragon egg is never going to be filled. Yeah, is there anything else I get later in the year? I do want to... Do I have the prosperity one? I do not. Tame a dragon. That's funny. At my old age, I'm like, I want a dragon. I don't know if I'm a, if I'm an actual rider or not, blood-wise. I am Valyrian, so at some point I probably did marry into a dragon-riding family. Um, but, you know, it's... Not every Valyrian can ride. And you want council support, don't care, you're a septum. There's very little you can give to me as a septum. But your favour's kind of worthless. Now, we don't need to improve any more holdings, right? All the holdings are improved. Yes, they are. Wonderful. Then let us... Get you on overseeing the realm. We need you to look over everything, make sure everything's all perfect, everything's all working. I see God's bleeding. But did Sea Guard lose that? No, okay, that's it's just the Vassal Province is the exact same as House Blackwood's colours. So is this guy, right? Oh no, this guy actually did end up joining them in the end. <laughs> he keeps asking, Lord Colmar, what's up, my man? You're trying to take my job, but you're shit at it. Is that what I'm hearing? Just over and over again he keeps trying. A word from Old Volantis of a trial by combat. I didn't know Old Volantis did trial by combat. He's a Valyrian. I didn't know Valyrian gods accepted trial of the combats. I thought that was a favourite of the seven thing. Um, who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't know my uh, Valyrian lore of all things. Because it's Valyria. <laughs> They can actually have a garrison now. So that builds up the overall uh, total garrison a decent bit then. So yeah, it's about 4,000 total garrison here now. And then these guys have a garrison. You need a better garrison, honestly. You have basic defense, but you just do not have a garrison. Look at that in a sec. Um, what can I do for your garrison? Oh, because he's done the patrol post. Do you have a patrol post? No, we can both have a patrol post. Use the last bit of my money on that for now. I believe me and my family can do great things. Therefore, I'll put my mind into actually implementing my ideas. I can lose pride. It'll cost me a bit of health. And has a majority of a chance of not having an effect and losing piety. 
Honestly, in his old age, I don't think he'll be much proud anymore. Yeah, this guy's been a great servant. He's actually done his job, unlike everybody else. Um, I'll give you a favor. Yeah, and like everybody else, you did your job, buddy. Uh, what education focus works for you? Um, what education shall we buy is a good question. Uh, she doesn't need the full. We'll give her a decent education. And you can be focused on diplomacy. Because I want to get that stat up because I hate having a one in a stat. And I don't know if I'd want to... If uh, Aaron would trade teach a child on intrigue like he's a very sort of proud man although who knows you, you never know might look at, a, at that kid and think you you look like a good spy would you like to be a spy because fingers crossed Damon lives because if Damon lives a nice long time we'll have no need for uh, for Sarah and she's approaching maturity as well you like me now. Yeah, you like me. We're BFFs again. Best father and son forever. Although, who knows how long that's going to last. Because I'm now 61 years old. Who's turned into Lord Giles? Although, I don't think he's going to live as long as Lord Giles. Lord Giles was... Whew. Although, and Lord Giles did also start younger, though. Well, Aaron started nearly 40. She's not learning well. She's lost one of her intrigue. Damn. You a bad educator or something? I'm a better educator than you. I should be educating her, honestly. Can I educate you? No. <laughs> okay, some patrol posts have been built, so that gets their garrisons up a bit. Why is your garrison so low? Castle minus 50, which you also have, but you you just have more. Why is that? I, I really don't know why this garrison's so much smaller. Because they look nearly identical on everything else, right? Okay, now they have one more thing built. It's the military train ground, I think. That's the difference. So I'll build that. What should, we do? what should I do with Damon? What does he like? Do you like hunting? Or maybe you like the festival. It's stewardship based. Because I've got good stewardship. I'll show you how amazing the festival is back at home. Because you've been spending so long in Butterworld you've forgotten what it's like in Harrenhal. At the start of we were having fun as we walked through the hedge page. But at some point I start losing track of where we are. Get to a crossroad, and I'm not sure which path to take us on to get us out. Hmm. And I said to be honest about being lost, and we try to reason our way out. And my son hates me for being a useless host. I decided to try my luck. This has a low chance of success, but Damon will not know. I have no idea where we are. Let's try and get out of here. If there's one thing Harren Hall's taught me, it's I should trust luck. <laughs> Yes, our luck is great. Just look at how many kids we've had died. We did it. We killed the boar. Although he doesn't like me that much. And then he died. What? What? What the hell happened, Damon? How did you... He died of severe stress. So he just went hunting for the boar. He's out hunting, sees the boar, and he's like, you know what? Too much for me. And then dies. <laughs> well, we now have a new heir. Sarah Valis, a legitimized bastard I adopted long ago. And she is my only remaining child. Because at age 61, I don't think I'm going to be having another child. I think I did mention, if House Valis dies, I will continue the game as whoever takes over House uh, Harrenhal. But I'd much prefer if House Valis survived. And this is our last chance at it, Sarah. You are our last hope. 
And with that grim thought in mind, uh, we are going to leave it there. Uh, a very uh, morbid episode. Lots of deaths this episode. But that seems to be the part of the course with Harrenhal. And with the Iron Islands once more under the Greyjoys, House Gaheris now in charge of the uh, Trident. And the Westerlands Vale reach Stormlands and Dawn. All loyal to House Targaryen, which finally has an heir. But for how much longer that has to be seen. We are in a very interesting situation. That is for sure. Uh, thank you guys so much for the support so far. Uh, please do leave a comment with any suggestions you may have. And uh, give a thought for uh, uh, Damon in your prayers. Dude revolted against his dad and then died of stress. <laughs> the future of House Valus very much hangs in the balance. And it seems like the curse is finally coming for us. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.